Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honors, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash, the blindness to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, 144,000, and the one third men, women, and children who are watching, listening, and learning in that order. This is Shamaria Allah with the Great Millstone chapter out of Wisconsin. And um, I just recently, uh, I've seen this before, but um, I never did. I never responded to it up until uh, today. And I was thinking about going over this because I just did a video on uh, this, something similar to this particular uh, subject, which had to do with the uh, Texas School District mandates uh, kids how to have, to teach kids how to have uh, anal sex. But um, this is something else that was very disturbing that I came across. And the actual children's book that says uh, the Gay BC's um, children's book. And um, I'm going to go into this and see what it says. You can actually purchase this off of Amazon. It says the Gay BC's. It says from the manufacturer, a joyful celebration of. LGBTQ plus vocabulary and they got G is for gay it's a word that implies you're a girl who likes girls or a guy who likes guys P is for respect I mean so like your R is for respect it's the right decision to treat everyone fairly make it your mission S is for Shashe a confident fierce stride to show yourself off without I mean, so like with attitude and pride. Wow. And then T is for trans. It's a brave step to take to live as a gender you know is innate. So as this is said, attitude and pride. A lot of this has to do with pride and the, and the creature thinking that they can just do what they want to do. And be, you know, and most of this comes from the Esau Edom, who is the wicked, and it's their job to to cause confusion. Um, in Babylon, which stands for confusion, which means confusion. But um, let me grab a couple of scriptures to uh, combat what we're watching. Um, first and foremost, yeah, I'm gonna grab Romans uh, 1 verse 26 to 32, because it sums up everything that's going on with that as far as them subscribing to that way of life. This is Romans uh, 1 verse 26. It says, for this cause the most high gave them up unto vile affections for even their women did change the natural use unto that which is against nature and what is that against nature a man's penis goes into a vagina not a woman's vagina goes into another woman's vagina or a man's penis going into another man's anal uh, cavity, uh, canal um or anus, salakia. So, you know, that's against nature. That's against the, the things that the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, set up. It says, and likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burning their lusts one toward another, man with man, working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was a man. And that recompense is the diseases and stuff that comes with partaking in those disgusting, vile sexual acts. And also at that time, you know, being put to death. You know, that's against the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Basim Shai. As a matter of fact, let me get that. This is Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. It says, if a man also lie with mankind, Salakia, if a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And so that was the ultimate recompense of their error in that time, in the ancient time. Uh, it reads on, it says, and even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge, our power gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, mal maliciousness, 
full of envy, murder. <clears throat> it's like it. Full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of the Most High, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to, the, to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implicable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of the Most High, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, as we just read about in, in Leviticus, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. We are, we are in a place right now, and I'm gonna read this description, this product description for this particular book. And he reads, it says, a joyful, a joyful celebration of LGBTQ plus vocabulary for kids of all ages. You know, so this devil, Satan and, and his children, these devils, the so-called white man, which is Esau, Edom, because the earth, as the Bible says, the earth has been given over to the hands of the wicked. They are the ruling class right now. And, he, and they're the ones that are pushing this vibration. And as it says right here, a joyful celebration of LGBTQ vocabulary for kids of all ages. So they, they, don't, they don't care. They're coming for everybody. And they want them to err and go against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which we know that they were made for that particular thing. To, 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 for that Salaki, for that particular reason, and to do everything um, in contrary to, to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai in the way things were set up in this world to do. It says, a play day extra, extravaganza transforms into a celebration of friendship, love, and identity as four friends sashay out of all the closets. And what does sashay mean again? A confidence for your stride to show yourself off with attitude and pride. So their pride, the pride of their heart have to see the other scriptures say, you know, and you know, the Lord speaks against pride and what pride does to you. You are destroyed for your pride. Having pride, you'll be destroyed, roughly paraphrasing. And that's what sashay means as they're using it in this particular uh, sentence, says, Shashay out of all the closets, dress up in, in a wardrobe fit for kings and queens and discover the wonder of imagination. Wow. It says, and that's leaning into your own understanding, you know? Wonders of your imagination. You don't know what's governing that, what spirit and demons is on you to tell you to do this and do that. You gotta pray to the Lord. You gotta ask the Lord to remove those things off of you, you know, for the, for the elect sake um it says from a is for ally to f is for family to q is for queer debut author illustrator ml webb's bright illustrations and lively inclusive poems delight in the beauty of embracing one's truest self a glossary in the back offers opportunity for further discussion of the terms and identities the gay bcs is perfect for fans of a of a is for an activist and feminist baby showing kids and adults alike that every identity is worthy of being celebrated. Now, that sounds familiar to, to, to what we read in Romans chapter one, I think it was verse um, 32, it says, who knowing the judgment of the most high, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Shalakia. Let me go back to 30. It says, Back by the heads of the Most High, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things. That right there, inventors of evil things. This is an evil thing to invent. A book for all ages of children to teach them to go off and, and, to, to, and, to, um, and to go against the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. This is an evil thing. And so, you know, you guys get a chance to Google, Google uh, 
the gay BCs, and you can do your, you can listen, watch the review of it and all that other stuff, and and, and see the, the 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 vile things that Esau Edom is putting out here in the world right now, causing many to go off in air. So, with that being said, I hope you're edified. Shalom to you, Akium, and then you um you sincere sisters who are watching, listening, and learning. Um, Shalom, Yabashi Bawashai, Bashi Rakadash, Rakatum.